Here we go, Mock Draft Monday, our first points league draft. Before you get into it, please subscribe, help us out. We're trying to get to 10K, it's a lot, we know. Also join the Discord, banter in there. Check out the rankings, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, here we go, our first. We're gonna run this as a points league instead of a mm -hmm. categories league here to help you in your leagues. You see what we've gone through so far. First round, Juan Soto for me. I think, based on what you said for your strategy, it's you don't need to worry about categories as much. as mm -hmm. guys who just put up a ton of stats. Juan Soto gets on base, you get points for walks. Yeah. So why don't you get a guy who gets on base all the time? Who do you go in the first round, Jerry? I went Garrett Cole, uh, Burns or Garrett Cole. Pick your weapon in the first round, um, and then on the back end, the second round, I took Walker. Uh, Scherzer and Walker had like almost identical stats last year. Um, the only thing I worry about Scherzer is the win category this year uh, with the Mets. Obviously, we've seen with DeGrom. Sometimes it can be hard to muster out a win with New York in the past. I think New York will be a good team. I just don't think it's worth the risk. Um, and now I'm here. I'm drafting right now in the third round. Uh, big pitchers for points league. I said Roto, I'm a pitcher's guy. So points league, obviously, I'm a pitcher's guy. Uh, don't really like the board right now for pitchers, so I'm going to go with Matt Olson here. Uh, I think, that was I think he's pick. going to be great. Getting him on the back end of the third is, I think, very good value for Matt Olson. Yeah, so you went Walker mm -hmm. in the second. I went Luis Robert and then Manny Machado. I feel like I'm going to go two pitchers now here, uh, but I just love all these guys for what they can do. Yeah, I don't need to worry about steals. I just guys who are going to hit. I guess Machado and Robert get me some steals, but it's not so important anymore. No. Uh, I'm going to go Giolito here. I think he's a great fourth round pick this year. He's going to get a lot of wins on that White Sox team. is really good. Uh, he kind of he's a little bit inconsistent last year. That ERA wasn't great at like 3.4. Uh, I think he has a little bit of a rebound year here and shows why he should be a second round pick. Don't hate it. Don't hate it at all. Um, for me, yeah, I just need to get a pitcher here. Mm -hmm. This kind of run on pitchers isn't great. Trevor Story at the end of the fourth. Really like that pick. Yeah. Or sure. end of the third, sorry. With the Red Sox now, I think I it's can't just believe Lindor awesome. went before him. Yeah, that's that's bad. Yeah. I think that's crazy. He, we just updated our rankings today and I have Trevor Story as a third ranked shortstop now. I think it's it's fair. I mean, he's gonna get second base eligibility. Uh, he's going to a very stacked Red Sox lineup. He's gonna hit in the middle of the order. Like there's no reason why Trevor Story can't be a a second or third round value fantasy player this oh, yeah. year. 30 home run guy. Mm -hmm. So who are you thinking for pitchers here? Cause Sandy. You're, you're going to go for a run here probably. Yeah. Sandy and then I was thinking Kevin Gosman maybe, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I Yeah, I, I need Sandy or I don't really want to go Lance Lynn, even though I think he's good. But Lance Lynn, absolute dog on the mound. Yeah, Sandy's 200. Um, inning pitcher, yeah, which is fine for my team. Mm -hmm. Like I just need him. So Nick Castellanos goes. Sandy's the pick for me. Good pick. Good pick. I might just go Lance Lynn. I might just hit it again. I think Lance Lynn here is the best option. Yeah, and there I kind of anchor my rotation with two guys, and now I can get back to taking some hitters. What are you thinking for you? You got to go a hitter here, right? Yeah, I'll probably go a hitter. Um, I'm looking at potentially George Springer here in the fifth. Um, I think I can get him on the turnaround, though, so I might wait. Um, but to be honest, can't really. I, I don't like banking on waiting just because looking at the board right now, he's probably the best option that I like out of Eloy. Um, oh, man, who's even here? Arenado. Byron Buxton, like those names. Don't I don't really, like this little. This stretch here isn't great. So hopefully Springer's available and I'd love him. I also like him. How do you value uh, relievers in a category like this or in a uh, format? I don't, I'm not a big like closer first type guy. Like we obviously know there's like a three, like three headed almost this year. Yeah. Uh, main guys, but I don't really value them too much. So go Springer here. Um, turn around. I wouldn't mind Corey Seager. I like that. Um, Luis Castillo catches my eye as a four starter. But I think Corey Seager is going to be where I'm heading here. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. I think it's good. Kevin Gosman, though, still available, just catches my eye, especially in a points league. Just how many strikeouts he can get, how many innings he logs. Wins, too. Yes, wins. 12 wins last year. 
Uh, again, that was, yeah, really good Giants team. Yeah. So he goes, um, mm. this is going to be. Two utility slots in this format, too. Ooh. So that changes things up. Out of the five outfielders on classic Roto League. Yep. Jack right. Flaherty, Hurt, right? Like the worst part about spring training coming up now is you see all these guys. Yeah, I guess that's why people say don't draft before the yeah. season. Mm -hmm. But we had nothing else, man. We did what we could. Yeah, it's like Tatis, right, too? Yeah. Like people said, some people mentioned in the Discord that they already had their draft and they had Tatis. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're drafting that early. <laughs> it's pretty wild. I want Corey Seager there. Good pick. I think I think he do, I think he really does have a good season with Texas. Yeah, sure. Freddie Peralta goes here. I'm gonna go Max Freed. You're on Max Freed. I, I haven't heard many people on the Freed train this year. Wins, man. Mm -hmm. I think he's just solid. The Braves are gonna be a great team. And then oh, I might reach for something here. I'm gonna go Jonathan India. Hmm. Wanted uh, Pete Alonzo, but he's gone. Your guy, my guy. <laughs> it really is a shame. What are you thinking now? I think I'm gonna go back to pitcher Logan Webb, Charlie Morton. Both catch my eye here. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Logan Webb. Nice. Been noticing I've been picking up Logan Webb a lot at yeah. that four or five starting pitcher role. I think a guy, I know we're not really close to taking him, but I'm going to be on Brendan Rodgers this season. Mm -hmm. It's official. A up. He's going to hit three for that lineup. I don't know if he'll hit three. He should hit one or two. Yeah. Right? Because Chris Bryant, CJ Krohn. Um, I just think he just takes over there and great season. He hit 284 last year. 280 this year. Eight, they only have him for 18 homers, 64 RBIs. I think that's on the low end. Took Cattel Marte there. I think the value that late for a second base position there. Like it. I like it a lot. And the outfield too. Mm -hmm. right. um, wow, there's a guy that I would like to take here, but I'm not going to get him. Will Smith? Yeah. Will Smith. He's going to go because all these guys are autoed. Yep, he went. So, Jesse Winker, I'm just not going to take him anymore. Yeah, Mitch Hanniger, I'm not taking him right now. Past the eighth, I think I, I like Jesse Winker. Yep. I still like him. I still think that he provides some value. We know you like him. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about taking Trevor Rogers here, but um, I, I don't like having two pitchers on my team that early. That you don't really know what they're about. Cody mm -hmm. Bellinger, for me. Another outfield slot. I'm surprised he only has outfield eligibility. I thought he'd have first base. but Yeah, that is surprising. And then pitchers. I just don't like this group of pitchers for Not me. Not great. Your guy, though, is there. Dylan Cease. Oh, I'm going to go for a better one, though. <laughs> like Snell? Yeah. I think it's him or Musgrove. I think I want to leave every draft with one of them. Mm -hmm. It's... I don't know what it is about them, but I think Blake Snell, easy bounce back season for him. Yeah. He was really, really good second half. And Joe Musgrove was really, really good in the first half. Mm -hmm. So I think the team should be improved. Crazy how much they kind of struggled. Lots of talent with Snell. Yeah. And the strikeout upside is there in a points league too. Yeah, exactly. I think mm -hmm. the wins are going to go up. K's are going to be good. ERA is going to be fine. Coming up here, I think I'm going to go position player and then on the turnaround get a pitcher. I hang out a couple, uh, 10 my rotation. Ian Anderson um, in the 10th round wouldn't be a bad option at all. Um, Matt Chapman here with the Jays. Is that what you don't mind go that for? in a points league? Don't like it in a roto, but like it in a points league. You know, his um, average is going to be dog shit. That's why I'm going to go Chapman. Not bad. Not excited bad. to see what he can do with the Jays. Should be good. He hit really well outside of Oakland last year. And now he doesn't have to play there anymore. Yeah. What do you think of uh, Chris Bassett with the Mets? He's just so solid. Mm -hmm. feel like he's more of a um, better real-life pitcher than he is fantasy asset. Mm -hmm. 
I think he's really, really good, but I just don't know where he can contribute that much to your fantasy team sometimes. Mm -hmm. I like, like, I'll take him every time I see him. Yeah. Like, cause he's but going, I, he's going late. And, and I like, think he's going probably in the right, right area for me. Yeah. Like, I think pitchers seem to do like really good with the Mets. Like Marcus Stroman when he was there. Yeah. They come in those four or five. But the problem is it's wins and in a points league you need that. So um, I think he should be fine. He's a pretty sure he's a quality start machine and that's the, the only thing you're gonna need. So Ian Anderson, I Yeah. Ian Anderson, so that's my fifth starter. So my rotation's looking good. Garrett Cole, Walker, Giolito, Logan Webb, Ian Anderson. Can't complain about that. Nope. No, you can't. You need to try and get a catcher here soon. But um, what do I like here? Well, my guys are here, that's for sure. Um, so I'm probably going to do the Zach Allen, CJ Crone. Nice little uh, twist here. Mm. So I take Allen. I don't know how good he is for points leagues. The wins, because he doesn't get them. Yeah, the wins might be an issue there. but I'll take a good pitcher mm -hmm. on the chances that he has a really good season. And I said I would wait past that first baseman tier to get CJ Crone. So here I am. Put my money where my mouth is, right? Hey, that's what we're all about here. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's Willie Adamas for me on the next one if I can get him. Man, we're moving fast here. I'm up again. Um, one guy I like for full year with the Yankees is Joey Gallo in a points league. No shift. Yep. Did uh what's his face go here already? Blake Trinan. If I'm in a if we're in a draft with some sharps, he's definitely gone. Yeah, he's not here, it looks like. Oh shit, he went all the way in the seventh. That's where he should be going. Yeah. That's exactly where he should be going. I'm glad are that you, the What ADPs are you gonna do in points league here? Like are you punting saves like um, I think you need I like some him. saves. I'm going to take Jordy here. Yeah, that's good. With the Blue Jays, I think that there's good value there. It looks like the Jays won't be adding a closer, so Jordy's going to be taking that role. Yeah, that's kind of what we need at this point, right? Yep. So I'm going to have to go for a guy with some saves too. Giovanni Gallegos. Hopefully that is here for me. Yep, fell to me. Nice, nice. I also said that I would wait. If I can't get an elite shortstop, I think yep. no-brainer Willie Domus is. I thought I was eyeing him out right there. thought you would pick him up here on the back end. Yeah. Vizio Garcia, Lourdes Goriel, there's some really, really, really good options still. Willie Adamas goes to me. Now I am looking for a catcher in my next round. Mm, Dalton Varsho? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. I'd Because as a points league, I would rather go like Grandall. Mm -hmm. Even Mitch Garver. It's just so shitty, man, catcher. Oh, once God. You, it's once you someone needs out. to bring back. We need a couple elite catchers. Yeah, to... it'll be nice. Adley Rutschman when he comes up. But yes. right now, it's just kind of a wasteland. I like Will Smith in this. Obviously, he's top three ranked catcher, but I think if you're missing out on that, it's it sucks. So I'm up here. I am going to take Dalton Varsho. Lourdes Gurriel has catcher. first base eligibility. Yeah, that kind of surprised me. I need to go look on fan graphs to see if – I don't even remember him playing first one game. That just might be me not paying attention, but – he definitely did play like I didn't think he played like I thought he played a handful of games. I didn't think he played enough to get eligibility. Um, I'm back up again. I need an outfielder. I have utility spots, so I'm kind of just looking at who's the best player on the board here to pick. Maybe a starting pitcher. Um, Stroman this late. John Means. Don't like John Means in a points league. Are you going to take a chance on Mike Clevenger this year? I th I like it, but I just worry about the innings. They're going to limit his innings at the mm -hmm. start of the season for sure. Took Marcus Stroman 
I think Strowman Cubs are a good fit for Strowman. Just depends how good the Cubs will be. But don't think very good. Strowman was good last year. He was really good. On a Mets team that could not figure out how to win a baseball game. No. No, that's for sure. All right. Well, I kind of get fucked on the catchers. So what do I want to do? Um, I'm going to take a chance on a on a utility guy here, I think. Uh, Dylan Carlson having a yep. breakout year. Yep. That's a good pick. And then I'm going to go to a pitcher with breakout potential mm-hmm. who might have his innings also limited, which kind of is a kick in the dick for fantasy guys. Logan Gilbert, isn't it? No, Shane Bass. Oh, okay. He, he had such good stuff last year. I'll yeah. take the chance on him. And if he gets an increased role, we're legit laughing yeah. in the 15th round. I need to – I feel like I want to get another um, another reliever here soon. Ooh, love Verdugo. I think this story only helps him because Verdugo's a lefty bat. Yeah, he's going to hit like seventh, though. You think so? I think he's going to hit two. No. Kike, he's hit two. Kike lead off. Verdugo two. No, I don't think so. Let me look on. They're all righty rough. hitters in that lineup. I'd rather put um, – We'll try and make up their lineup here quickly. Uh, Kike, Verdugo, uh, Bogarts will hit three. Oh. J.D. Martinez, four. Trevor Story, six. six? I mean, five, five. Trevor no. Story, five. No, 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 I don't think so. That's I think that'd 100% be crazy. what I saw the lineup last time I checked. Yeah, Verdugo was good. Okay, so Jackie Bradley's going to hit last. Yeah. I'm up yeah. again here. Devers maybe hit two. Oh, shit, I forgot about Devers. Yeah, they just don't want to go all right-hand heavy. Yeah. I think you can see. Well, I guess Devers a lefty bat. Yeah. But um, let's go. Oh, man. Another reliever here. He was really good at the end of last year. Mm-hmm. But it just depends on if he gets bullpen. the bulk of the those saves. Yeah. So I need a catcher and a reliever. And I'll go, oh, what the hell do I want? I'll take a chance on Kyber Ruiz. I hate it. I'll, I don't mind that. 16th round. I should have. He was going way later, too. I just needed the mm-hmm. catcher. It's at this point in the uh, in this point of the draft, you're just drafting based on needs pretty much. Yeah. I don't mind that. Well, I'm going to do something ugly, I think. <laughs> what do you think of Luke Foyt with the Padres? I like it a lot, actually. Oh, never mind. I found a good one. Cork Niebel. They said he's going to be the uh, re- be the closer right now mm-hmm. in Philly till he loses it. So, sure. There we go. And how are you filling your bench spots? There's four of them. Yeah, I think that I'm looking for obviously players that have that eligibility. But I think the main thing is just getting guys that you think you know who's the best player on the board. Yeah, that's kind of what I look at it. I ca- I try and go two for two, two pitchers, two, two hitters, pitchers. Yeah. I think in a points league, I might lean maybe more pitchers, um, but. Of course, able to have him as a starting pitcher. Go. I am going to go, like we said, Luke Voigt. There you go. Did you did you have any other first baseman? Uh, yes, I have Matt Olson, but two utility points, spots. Yeah, for points sure. league. Ranger Suarez gets picked. Ranger Suarez didn't have his visa to get in, so he won't be ready for opening day. Cr- oh, there's five. Krill off and like. 18th round. I will take that. There's five bench spots here. So I'm going to go three hitters, two pitchers, most likely. Yeah, I'm going to look to probably my next two picks, fill them out with my starting pitchers. Ooh. Um, guys, I hate to do it, but oh, there's two good picks here. Sorry, shithead Trevor Bauer come onto my team. Yeah. 18th round. And then I have a maybe a worse guy. They're actually both terrible people, but I'm trying to make money here. <laughs> what's what's going on with Bauer? Like they, they put him on administrative leave till April 16th. So after after April 16th, he can play, or they'll just extend it. Oh, okay. Tanner Houck's a good pick there. I saw that he's going to be in in line for that other rotation spot. Oh, now that Chris Sale and all those guys are out. 
No, he just took the guy that I wanted, Marcelo Zuna. The guy was auto drafting. Uh, wow. Now I'm in for a nice little loop here. Who do I want? Let's take a chance on a uh, guy that I like in uh, Ian Hap. Ian Hap, that is your. That's my. That's, it's your guy. Yeah, it's what I do. Just, I draft Ian Hap. There's nothing else in saying that's your guy. Yeah. I'm looking at you say Kikuchi here. I think that high strikeout upside, um, Jay's exciting. He's going to be in that lineup. Should get lots of win opportunities. You say Kikuchi. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Carson Kelly, when did I ever put Carson Kelly in my queue? Carson Kelly, he is in. That was a wild, wild run he had last yeah, year. Yeah, he was really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was really good for a month, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, coming back to me here, kind of wanted just a solid player for my bench, um, someone that can do a little bit of everything. Um, Rosario kind of looks at me. He's back with Atlanta. Um, Brandon Belt, but I already have two first basemen, so I kind of don't want to do Brandon Belt. I'm going to do Eddie Rosario. Not bad. Good luck to get another starting pitcher. So then I go Brennan Rogers, like I said, I wanted to take. Has Joe Ryan be, been picked yet? Nope. He has not. Joe Ryan, come on down to the team. See if he can break out this year. Really good stuff I like from Joe Ryan. So now I got my two pitchers. Now I'm just going to go two hitters when they come up. I am up here. I am going to go. Man, pitchers aren't looking great. Zach Granke with the Royals doesn't really uh, doesn't really fascinate me. Um, let's check. Corey Kluber. Yep. The Rays. I don't hate it. The Rays always seem to figure out pitchers. So, so for me here, my last two picks... I'm just going to go guys that I think have a chance of breaking out. Mm -hmm. And if they have a shot, then we're laughing. Oh, there's a, there's a couple of good guys I like here. Mm -hmm. Bobby Dalbeck, Riley Green, O'Neill Cruz, and Akil Badu are three players that <laughs> I like. Mm -hmm. It's my last two picks. If these guys don't end up on my team after week one, I'm fine. Like, I'm not going to kill myself, right? Yeah, no, so, I agree. Take, some, take risks, that's for sure. So I think I'm going to go, uh, who do, I'll go Bobby, and then do I do that? I need an outfielder. Fuck, who cares? Bobby Dalbeck. Yep. And then O'Neill Cruz. I'm going to put on my. Uh, you like Bobby, eh? I think if he just figures out the swing and miss stuff. Mm -hmm. You got 40 home run power. Yep. Sure, I'll take a chance in the 22nd round on Bobby Dalbeck. And at this point, I'm not really looking at the board so much as in, again, players I like. Yeah, no, for sure. So O'Neill Cruz, I was kind of a Jazz Chisholm guy. I remember we picked him up in that one 15-team league right after spring training. If he hits, he hits. If he doesn't, he'd go back on the wire. Yeah. I picked up Devin Williams there. I know he, it's not the closer for them, but if he is, lots of strikeouts. If Hater goes down, he becomes a top three closer in the MLB. Absolutely. That's all we got. Go through the draft results here. I'll start. Scroll from the top. Oh, okay. There's the end of the draft. Yeah. I think points league, obviously, you could tell I went three out of four uh, pitchers. I think that's 100%. Like, that's just the way I'm going to be doing points leagues. Yeah. Um, three out of four. I'm very happy with that. Very strong strikeout upside pitchers who go deep in the games playing on good teams look white Sox, dodgers yankees it's all wins yeah easy i like my team here too thanks everyone for tuning in subscribe join the cord and we will see you next time